there is a creature alive today who has survived millions of years of evolution without change, without passion, and without logic. It lives to kill. It has only one enemy to fear, us humans. Oceans around the world right now are being emptied of sharks. Right now, shark fins are one of the most highly valued marine commodities in the world. They can fetch prices of up to $400 US per kilogram. You look around and realize how wasteful we are with sharks. Um, the fact that we may kill up to uh, you know, 100 million sharks a year, a lot of those just for their fins, so we're not even keeping the meat from them, we're throwing them back into the ecosystem. Some of the sharks that are now in danger of extinction are the uh, great white shark and the really the largest fish actually, um, which is the whale shark. Um, these things are uh, rare naturally, but more and more they have become, um, because of overfishing and finning, um, have become endangered. The shark fins are used to make a Chinese delicacy dish called shark fin soup. Why is it a big Chinese tradition to eat shark fin soup? Why? Oh wow, it's a long story. So in the dynasty, the, the one emperor, they want the things you couldn't find in the world. All right, like they can have, they want the, the bears canned, or they want the mushroom in the top of the mountain, or they want the shark thing in the deep, deep sea. Because at that time, it's very hard, very, very difficult to get it. So that the emperor, they, say, they think, see, I got these things, so I'm the top in the world. That's it. Long before shark fin soup, as long as 450 million years ago, sharks have been playing an important role in our oceans. Sharks are top predators in the ocean, and we know that predators can play a really important role in controlling the food web. So on land, we know that wolves control elk populations and therefore keep the ecosystem in balance. Without these sharks in the system, the systems run off in different dynamics. Certain species that maybe we don't find desirable become more abundant, and as a result, species even further down the food chain that we might care about, say corals, or things like this end up being impacted by the loss of these top predators from the ecosystems. Ultimately, what does it mean for us? It could mean the fish we do want to eat may not be available anymore. One of the things that people can do is not participate in the products that come from the shark fitting business or from exploiting sharks. Make different choices and say that they don't want to eat shark fin soup anymore because it's driving these species to, towards extinction. Kent at Buddha Boda has come up with another alternative. This is a veggie shark fin. See that? Veggie shark fin and the real shark fin almost the same because of no flavor. So we use the veggie shark fin the purpose is to cause people, first of all, they know, let them know they ha can have the veggie things instead of the real things. All right, all right. the second one is to let people keep from killing sharks. Mm -hmm. So good. Exactly the same as a real shark fin soup taste. With innovative solutions like this, there may be hope for sharks. <laughs>